Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Nature abounds with plants, trees, birds, insects, animals, etc. Aren't the animals and birds also the inheritors of the earth like us? Don't they have the right to live on this earth as we have? If you find a snake in your garden or premises, what will you do? Here is an interesting story titled A Snake in the Grass. Let's begin, shall we? It was a sunny afternoon. The inmates of the bungalow were at their siesta. A cyclist rang his bell at the great gate frantically and shouted, A big cobra has got into your compound. It crossed my wheel. He pointed to its track under the gate and resumed his journey. The family consisted of the mother and her four sons. They were greatly agitated to hear the news. Soon they assembled at the gate. Their old servant thus was sleeping in the shed. They shook him out of his sleep and told him about the arrival of the cobra. There isn't any cobra here, he replied, and tried to dismiss the matter. They swore at him and wanted him to be serious. The thing is somewhere here. If it's not found before the evening, we'll dismiss you. You don't seem to care for the garden. Some neighbors dropped in. They looked accusingly at Dasa. You have the laziest servant on earth, they said. You ought to keep the surroundings tidy. I have been asking for a grass cutter for months, Dasa said. In one voice, they ordered him to manage with the available things and learn not to make demands. Meanwhile, more neighbors assembled. They began discussing snake menis and the dangers of snake bite. They began helping the neighbor in every possible way. They tucked up their dhotis, seized every available knife and crowbar, and began to hack the garden. Creepers, bushes, and lawns were laid low. What? could not be trimmed was cut to the root. The inner walls of the house brightened with unobstructed glare streaking in. When there was nothing more to be done, Vasa asked triumphantly, Where is the snake? An old beggar cried for arms at the gate. They told her that they were busy with a snake hunt. On hearing it, the old woman became ha- became happy. You are fortunate. It is God himself who has come to visit you. Don't kill the snake. Mother was in hearty agreement. You are right. I forgot all about the promised Abhishekam. This is the reminder. She gave a coin to the beggar who promised to send a snake charmer. As she went. Presently, an old man appeared at the gate and announced himself as the snake charmer. They gathered around him. He spoke to them of his life and activities and his power over snakes. They asked admiringly, How do you catch them? Thus, he said pouncing upon an imaginary snake on the ground. They pointed at the direction in which the cobra had gone and asked him to go ahead. He looked helplessly and said, If you show me the snake, I'll catch it at once. Otherwise, what can I do? The moment you see it again, send for me. I live nearby. He gave his name and departed. At five in the evening, they threw away the sticks and implements 
and retired to the veranda to rest. They had turned up every stone in the garden and cut down every grass blade and shrub so that the tiniest insect coming into the garden should have no cover. They were loudly discussing various measures they would take to protect themselves against reptiles in the future. Then Dasa appeared before them carrying a water pot whose mouth was sealed with a slab of stone. He put the pot down and said, I have caught him in this. I saw him peeping out of it. I saw him before he could see me. He explained at length the strategy he had employed to catch and seal up the snake in the pot. They stood at a safe distance and gazed on the pot. Vasa had the glow of a champion on his face. Don't call me an idler hereafter, he said. A mother complimented him on his sharpness and wished she had placed some milk in the pot as a sort of religious duty. He picked up the pot cautiously and walked off, saying that he would leave the pot and its contents with the snake charmer living nearby. He became the hero of the day. They watched him in great admiration and decided to reward him adequately. It was five minutes since Dasa had gone when the younger son cried, See there! Out of a hole in the compound wall, a cobra emerged. It glided along towards the gate, paused for a moment to look at the gathering in the veranda, with its hood half raised. It crawled under the gate and disappeared along a drain. When they recovered from the shock, they asked, Does it mean there are two snakes here? The college boy murmured, I wish I had taken the risk and knocked the water pot from Vasa's hand. We might have known what it contained. And that's the end of the story written by R.K. Narayan, a well-known Indian writer in English. He wrote several novels and short stories that won him many awards. Most of his novels are set in the imaginary South Indian town of Malgudi. For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. See you soon. Bye-bye.